Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to talk to you about the internet, or the lack thereof. Stick around, and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. A bit of background before we get into this and kind of what sparked the idea for this video. I recently had fiber uh, internet pulled into my home. As part of that installation process, the company came out. They pull the fiber cable from the street over to my house. However, they don't bury that cable during the installation. They send another crew back out uh, a week or two later to actually bury the cable. Well, in the process, uh, that cable actually originates uh, right next to the street, and that happened to be in my neighbor's yard. Well, he was out mowing grass on a Saturday afternoon and cut the cable. So uh, the company couldn't get out until Monday afternoon to fix that, so that left me roughly 48 hours without internet. And that really got me to thinking, what would life look like without the internet, even on a temporary basis? The internet is so interwoven into our lives now, uh, much the same way electricity is, that we really don't give it much thought. But how many times do you pick up your phone or turn on your computer on an everyday basis to stay in touch with people, to, uh, you know, maybe through social media or through emails, uh, or maybe you turn on your computer to do some online shopping. Uh, maybe you're checking the weather, uh, looking at the latest uh, radar images that's uh, available online to us. You know, it's just something that we really don't give much thought to until it's not there. So this video is more of a question, uh, I guess, than an instructional type video. Uh, I really want to start a conversation, maybe down in the comments below, about what you guys think would be critical information to have uh, on hand should you find yourself completely without the internet. Now, we could lose the internet for any variety of reasons. Maybe it is the neighbor uh, mowing grass that uh, cuts your new cable. But we also just had Hurricane Laura hit the Gulf Coast here on the United States. I believe there's roughly a half a million people without power, and without power right now, they have no internet. And it could be a whole host of other issues that came up, natural disasters and things of that nature, that left us without the internet. And if you do find yourself without the internet, you quickly figure out how many things you can't do. For instance, I thought, well, I'm out of internet. I'll go ahead and work on some of the build a pie code. Now, while I could work on that code locally, I couldn't upload that to the servers. Okay, well, I just, I won't work on that right now. We can let that sit for a couple of days. So let's go ahead and try this new project that I wanted to work on uh, with the Raspberry Pi, see if we can get it going. Except I can't download anything for the Pi. I can't get any of the dependencies or the required libraries that I need for this new project. So that's out. Uh, it, it just, it goes on and on the number of things we rely on uh, the internet for on a regular basis. So the question is, what would we want to have available to us if we lost the internet, either on uh, you know a temporary basis due to a natural disaster or something else? Uh, so as radio operators, one of the things we might want to keep on our Raspberry Pi are the manuals for our particular radios. This could be helpful uh, should you need to remember how to do something because if you're relying on that online manual and you don't have an offline copy, well, you're kind of out of luck. Now, this could be a printed copy or it's something that we could keep on the SD card for the Raspberry Pi. Speaking of the Raspberry Pi, it's critical that we keep current backups. 
Uh, you may be thinking, well, I can just run the build a pie script again, and it only takes about four hours to install everything. Without the internet, though, we can't download any of those applications, so we're kind of stuck. Uh, so it's critical that we've got a backup of our entire system on a spare SD card. At least one backup, uh, you know, to keep around. And then if you have a few extra SD cards, should the first one fail, we can resort to our backup and use some of those spare cards to create a new backup image. Something else that I'm probably going to look at doing in the near future, uh, a couple of guys have emailed me and told me that I could download Wikipedia onto a USB thumb drive. I think that's somewhere around 70 or 80 gigs to uh, download the entire thing, but that should be fairly easy to fit on a modern day thumb drive. Now, for weather reports, we could always use something like WinLink to send a request into the system. Uh, that's something that's actually built into uh, Pat Menu that could help you generate that weather request and go ahead and get that forwarded or sent over email. Uh, and then a reply would be forwarded to you for weather information. You can do the same thing with Grib files as well. So there's just a few thoughts that I have on what we might want to have on hand. You know, it's actually, to me, it might be easier to deal with a loss of power since I'm prepared with batteries and solar panels. But dealing with life without the internet could actually be much more of a challenge for us. So what do you guys think? What would you try to keep uh, paper copies of or digital copies of if you did find yourself without the internet. Leave those comments down below and I'll be responding to as many of those as I can. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3. But what's some of the things that we... Okay, let's start again. <clears throat>